Hello, my name is Tracy Shock. I live in Dripping Springs, Texas. When I met my husband, he was on a low-carb diet, and he was pretty limited on what he ate. And um, I really wasn't into the low-carb thing, but to be supportive of him, I was trying to expand on his menu, and with meatloaf, I um, came up with the idea. Of course, you have to add some type of filler with meatloaf, you know, like crackers or bread. That's what I grew up on. But um, to try and make it easier and come up with a one dish thing, but also stay within the low carb uh, idea, I took the uh, pork rinds and the spicy, the hot spicy ones, and crushed them up and used them as the filler. And I didn't have to add any spices or anything to it, but it also gave us the low carb but and, and the spices, and then you can add whatever vegetables that you prefer. And it, it works really, really well. And then I just poured tomato sauce on top of it and and uh, cook it in a cast iron skillet, which is what I grew up on. But it was a wonderful, wonderful way to make meatloaf. That's the way we grew up, was uh, with, you know, doing it when I was a little girl. I learned from my, my mother and my grandmother, and I still have the cast iron skillet that came from my grandmother, <laughs> believe it or not. I kind of have that nostalgic type of uh, attitude, you know, and keep using the same things. It gets passed down from generation to generation, you know, so it's very important. Including, clearly, your meatloaf recipe. Yes, yes, definitely. It's the uh, same thing Grandma, Grandma used. I just modified it a little bit to fit my husband's low-carb diet by, you know, using the... And it has to be... It, you have to be real careful because so, some of the... Some of the um, uh, what am I thinking? The pork rinds. Some of the brands, you know, the, the local ones can be a little too hard and they don't crush really well. So the, uh, there are certain brands... I think it's the Bakettes or what is it? Um, there's a particular brands that work better. If you if you feel the bag and you can tell which ones are the softer ones break up easy and they smush really well and they and they what they work really well in the it, work in with the meat really well. Well, um, Grandma, we're all from Texas originally, but West Texas. Grandma is from um, Clyde, Texas, which is outside of Abilene. And it's a little tiny town outside of Abilene. That's where she grew up with her grandparents. Grandma is um, Polish-Irish. And my grandfather, my mom, this is on my mom's side of the family, the only ones that I really know a lot about, but um, granddad is full-blood German. So that's where we all come from and that I associate with mostly.